Hi, my name is Teresa Stern, and I'm the Director of Alumni and Outreach Services here at Guide Dogs for the Blind. Hi, my name is Jeff Gray. I'm a Master Guide Dog Mobility Instructor here at GDB. This video will highlight the benefits and responsibilities of living and working with a guide dog. We'll also give you information about our admissions process, our class training program, and our world-class post-graduation support services. In addition, there'll be scenes from our California and Oregon campus, as well as clients working in a variety of locations and iconic shots of the Golden Gate Bridge and Mount Hood. We really hope you enjoy this video. My name is Braden, and my guide dog's name is Fonzie. My name is Tom Kowalski, and this is my guide, Dynamo. My name is Michelle Yu, and this is my guide dog, Oscar. My name is Rosa Gomez, and my guide dog's name is Lisa, and I call her Elise. My name is Tracy Boyd, and my guide is Chiffon. My name is Mark Francis, and my guide's name is Vivid. Hi, I'm Christine Benninger, CEO at Guide Dogs for the Blind. At GDB, we're here to provide a positive adult learning environment that really prepares people for success. As one of the leading guide dog schools in the world, we strive to match people who are blind and visually impaired with exceptional guide dogs. And we're proud to say that all of our services are provided completely free of charge, thanks to our generous donors. All of us who work and volunteer here at GDB are striving to support our mission on a daily basis. From puppy socializers and our skilled veterinarians to our puppy raisers and licensed guide dog instructors, each person is a piece of something really special and it's what makes GDB so unique. One of my favorite parts of the day is when I have the chance to eat lunch and interact with the students in class. People from different geographic regions and all walks of life. I've met some pretty amazing individuals, both young and old, and I'm reminded why we do the work we do. Um, I lost my vision to a rare eye disease called non-arteritic ischemic optic neuropathy, or NAION. So I was born with congenital glaucoma. I've been blind, diagnosed since birth. Retinitis pigmentosa which is a degenerative retinal disease. I was uh, born premature and I received too much oxygen uh, um, as a, a baby. My vision is like going underwater. I have some light and shadow perception. I can always tell if the lights are on or off or if it's day or night. So right now I have um, no vision at all. One big misconception is that you have to be totally blind to work with a guide dog. However, both totally blind and legally blind individuals can qualify. What's really important are your orientation and mobility skills. These skills are essential to independent travel and will ultimately determine your success with a guide dog. When you apply, you'll interact with our admission staff. If your application goes further, we'll set you up with a home interview with one of our licensed guide dog instructors. It's really important that we get to know you better, learn about your home environment and the routes that you take on a daily basis. All this information helps us make sure that we match you with just the right guide dog. The admissions department at Guide Dogs for the Blind is phenomenal. They take you step by step so you always know what's going to come next and when it's going to happen. They're able to get all the information that they need from you and at the same time let you know that you're about to embark on one of the most exciting adventures of your life. You always feel like someone is right there and you, they're gonna take care of you because you're their only client. And that's, that's how they make you feel. We have two state-of-the-art training facilities. One in San Rafael, California, about 20 miles north of San Francisco, and one just outside of Portland in Boring, Oregon. At GDB, we serve incoming students from all over the U.S. and Canada. Although most of our students are over the age of 18, there is no age requirement. Your transportation to and from campus will be coordinated for you by our admissions department. If you'll be traveling by airplane, we'll be sure to have one of our GDB staff or volunteer greet you at the airport. Some of our students will come by car or by train. Either way, we'll make sure you have the proper directions and instructions to get here safely. At GDB, we want you to feel like you're home away from home. 
We'll do everything we can to make you comfortable and make sure that all your needs are met. During your two week stay, you'll have your own room with various amenities, including fresh linens and towels, a hairdryer, coffee maker, your own TV, Wi-Fi, and a beautiful patio. During your downtime, we invite you to use our fitness center, hot tub, or hang out in the student lounge, watch a movie, and visit with your new friends. My time in the student residence at GDB was wonderful. They really respected all of us and treated us like um, individuals. They treat you like a person rather than a blind person. The instructors, the nurses, the, the people cooking your meals, everybody has such a positive outlook and they want to see you get through the program. Your health and well-being are very important to us. We have professional chefs on both of our campuses, along with a very caring dormitory staff. We can assist you with any of your dietary restrictions, and you'll receive the best care from our amazing nursing staff. All the essential equipment that you'll need for your guide dog will be provided to you in class, including your leash, collar, and harness. And you'll have the opportunity to shop at our GDB gift shop. With our two-week customized training program, students have access to learning materials before, during, and after class. GDB's two-to-one student instructor ratio means you'll be matched up with another student, practice routes with your new guide dog and instructor in a variety of environments, from city streets and malls to quiet streets and night routes. You'll have every opportunity to make sure you're a team that's confident and ready to take on the world. The two-week program here at GDB was compact with information. I really enjoyed the way that in this short two-week training period, they're able to teach you from head to toe how to care for your guide. It's a great investment in your future. A typical day will include feeding and relieving of your guide dog, a morning and afternoon group discussion, and a workout with your instructor. With delicious meals, interactions, fellow students, and GDB staff in between. In the evening, this is your time to relax and play with your guide dog, as well as time to connect with your family and friends. Sunday is also a day to unwind and to make your own schedule, including local outings and time with campus visitors. Dog day is probably one of my favorite parts of class. It's a really special moment when a person gets to meet their new guide dog for the first time, and it's just magical. You hand them the leash, and it's the very beginning of an amazing bond that will only grow stronger over time. As the days go by in class, you see them become a true team, learning how to read one another and glide around obstacles. I remember when I met Chiffon for the very first time, she gave me a sniff from head to toe and, and we just instantly were like, how are you doing? And it was just the beginning of a beautiful partnership. It was like meeting the best friend that you were ever gonna have. I just thought he was beautiful and, and uh, perfect. He was just a wonderful, wonderful dog. Another amazing part is graduation, where the people who raise the dog, the puppy raisers, get to present the dog on the graduation stage, and the whole experience of GDB comes full circle. Each party gets a chance to talk about how this dog impacted their life, and it's usually not without some tears and laughter. Graduation really is a special time for people to meet new friends, share stories, and stay connected should they choose. It's a powerful bond and one that we at GDB want to see thrive for years to come. On graduation day, meeting the puppy raisers, they dedicated a part of their life to raise this life-changing, amazing guide dog just for me. And so when you, when you meet them, you just feel so much gratitude for their generous gift. We are committed to the people we serve and we want them to know that we're here for them and their guides always. Whether it's a phone call from your field service representative to answer a question, helping with vet care assistance, or even an in-person visit from one of our guide dog mobility instructors to work through a particular issue. Here at GDB, we're committed to each and every guide dog team's success. GDB provides veterinary financial assistance as needed to all of our graduates. We also have a support center that is available anytime a graduate has a question or issue they need help resolving. This could be something that can be resolved over the phone, but if an instructor is needed to address a particular issue in someone's home environment, GDB will accommodate for that as well. And when the time comes to retire a guide dog, GDB is there to help. We'll discuss the option of getting a successor dog 
as well as provide access to our staff counselor if needed. We always want to make sure you have the support you need. The veterinary assistance that Guide Dogs provides us as graduates is, is the best. Flea treatment, heartworm medication, any veterinary care that you need, even if the dog is retired and you decided to keep the dog. One of the things that really sets GDB apart is our supportive, close-knit community. We are one of the only schools in the world with an alumni association. And personally, I have found these relationships with other guide dog graduates to have really enriched my life. I am a president of one of their alumni chapter groups. And we are parents navigating through the world with guide dogs. And these alumni chapter groups are all across North America. Having a guide dog has um, given me a greater level of independence. Not only do I travel, get to places um, faster, I don't have to you know, bump into obstacles. Now when I walk with my guide dynamo, I can listen to the trees and the wind and the birds sing. I think if my dog had a job, he'd be a surfer. He would be a food tester. She would be a princess. He would be a therapist. Probably be a greeter. He'd be the captain of the ship. He leads me through dangerous waters and uh, calm waters and uh, always gets me to port. These dogs help guide you back into society again. They lead you places that you wouldn't ordinarily go. It just changes your life completely. If you think the guide dog lifestyle is right for you, visit us on the web at guidedogs.com or give us a call at 800-295-4050.